oftentimes we'll see teams rotate away from that and go towards C, but it seems like Sharks want to hunker down and try to take this fight. Doug, setting the tempo. New turn is saying, we don't even want you to think about your strat. We've already taken out Frost, and that's a lot of the control that's going to be on the flank. Now you need to fight the rest of them as they come in, and Sharks is doing their damnedest to hold this position. With this. And they're about to clash around this spike. Oh my god, the cat and mouse game right now. Nice shot by Dinaru. That was a definite and necessary pick. 2v1 on him, focus down to back alley. A, a attacker spawn side, and okay. Sharks are slowing it down. They're regrouping exactly what they need to do. A little bit of util used to grab this back, and we're going to have a bit of a reset in the round here. How does it play out? See, Sharks, they have high tilted it over towards C, where Solo is waiting, but with four health, what are you oh, having you? Not much at all. In the sight. Allows the last one standing. We're all going to keep him at bay, at least for the time being, as the spike goes down. What a play by Sharks to weather the storm so far. New turn getting themselves into murky waters back there. Didn't have all the angles. Sharks was still able to work around. I'm C-Link, so they're going to be able to get the spike down. And this is Riv. This is going to be a chaos fight through utility. You see, he hasn't even been able to get the spike down, and the clock continues to tick away. He's going to have to get on it soon. There's the spike. Leitch is able to finally plant it. Numbers advantage still in favor of New turn, however slight. They're still there. Perry spotting where Gennaro is. He's able to land the shots to clean him up. Another one falls on the side of Sharks as the round drops down into the hands of Frost. He's going to get tagged up. Locky on the defuse. And I just don't know that he can do much there between the utility that's coming from every possible way. It's just too much to handle. New turn around the board. Yep. Has to stay alive, though, using a couple of shot guards to delay the plan, at least for the time being. And there's the Hunter Fury as well. But may have been a bit a bit early yeah Dinara's just be able to dance things around but with 13 seconds left now they're gonna have to force the spike down in a less than ideal situation Dinaru manages to get it down Ooh. just in time and now it's gonna be an absolute bloodbath for the side of four on four as Prozen dances around the cloud burst as that evaporates there come the kills and there goes the round win for Sharks a two round lead early on oh Lucky is in a great spot Lucky are good for one Surely his position's been given away, but it might not matter. matter. He gets a second one as well as allows looking to add insult to injury. The res is going to come up onto Prozine. Is on to be an early rolling thunder as Solo looks to destroy the lockdown and take care of Fra as well. The spike looks like it's going to go down just in the nick of time. Allow with the op. Holding a tight corner. Here. Seeing if he can find anyone. A straight up 3v3 here for this site. Denaru still has the Hunter Fury, but I mean, from that spot on the site, what can you really do? Excellent. Set up by Gashies as he's able to get two what? more four on the round. Looking for the ace. Perry drops. $1,000 credits for the team, but this is going to be tough buys on Econ. Oh, Riv, he had stuck it. Lysha was all the way up in heaven. It, you can tell as soon as that goes off, they want to go away. But he gets punished as soon as he finishes the ultimate. Allows fully online, folks, as he's already gotten three on the round. Sharks just down to scraps as their attempt at getting onto A goes absolutely sideways. I think uh, Allow realized that bank account might go in the red just in a second here. So he picked up uh, <laughs> a few $200 stacks to throw in there. Solo gets taken down by Gavshis as he is always good for one or two. And how many more will it be this round? Slowly, quietly, tried Player cutting standing. noise, tried spike giving off the a. idea that they may be rotating away. But no, he was still there. And now the spike is yeah. on, on no man's land. Denaru in a... I mean, it's Whoa. nearly, Risky. nearly impossible situation. And what? Routing new turn. Here we go. Lockie using the Hunter Fury. As yeah, the kill feed just like bleeds oh, red. Sharks have already taken care of three. Lights is going to get the spike down. Solo shows up to the party and a bit late. Unfortunately for him, as E and Allow find themselves in a 2v5. No real access to the site. There's a wall that's denying any sort of entry from yep. Karat. The way he's playing Sage is incredible. Ooh. Oh, oh, it was there. It was a beautiful setup. You heard the flash. You heard the blade storm. They dash across. Now the res is on there. And while the res does channel through, they know where it was. Solo's not able to convert onto any of that. And through the chaos, that was the first couple of seconds of that round. New turn find themselves in a 3v5. Slowly moving it back. And it's a little bit of a push here from Lakia. He could be in danger. This is going to be a drone coming around. He'll get seen out. He hears it, and now he knows he might be in a pretty sticky situation. So he looks to rotate out, gets clipped. Leitch comes up with the frag there. And now it's going to be the movement towards A. 
again and again, Doug, we see dwindled numbers of new turn trying to hold or retake a site here as Sharks is just able to open it up a pair. He says, maybe not this time. Oh, Perry already good for three, but only four bullets. In oh, that's going to run dry. Had a chance at four, got cleaned up. Suggest. Okay, so he just goes for the firefight. And that's a tough one to take against Gobshees. Suggest that he's going to show up right behind them. If he goes undetected, he's going to flip this thing on its head. He's been spotted solo. Good for one. Oh. That's the way. Yes, the kill gets traded out of Prozine. There comes the paranoia. The dash out from Prozine as well as he's able to connect it onto Suggest. Looking for more as they get onto the site. Again, New Turn can't stop anything. They can't stop a nosebleed right now. And Sharks just continue to run over all of New Turn. Another 30 second strat from Sharks. Just walking the other team around. It's You don't get your first confident shot, your first angle, what your strat on defense would be. And Sharks is doing a great job at reading that and getting their way into the site. These rounds as well, they make sure they don't lose too much here. You gotta give credit to New Turn for taking down a few members. But with the way the rounds are going, that is just the money bags in on the side of Sharks right now. So you're and as they look to trade each other, pop out. That's going to be the real and deal. Perry and Solo come up with two. And they have a bit of ground. Do they instantly act on it? Oh, my word. Frosin. You can see Perry there with the spike. Wanted to go see. Was actually on the way. And then Frog gives Solo the business. Left, right, good night. And then they're now, now Perry rotates away. And it looks like they're going to want to hit A. They do have a star. Both stars actually denying info early on, but with 40 seconds left, Denaru, oh my gosh, Denaru gets destroyed out of Lao, dashes onto the site, manages to get the kill gap, she's looking for something, not going to make anything convert, Fra left alone in a 1v4, nowhere near the site, Perry's going to get the spike down as well, this, this is, this is in as the Spectre, but rifles the rest of the way, and it's pretty early aggression towards A, good I'm damage. Great damage on that. Let's look at the health bars. Oh my word, did you just call this or what? You think it's a choose your own adventure? It looks like Sharks is just reading the same book page for page here. Gabshees picks another one up and now they're gonna have to fight over A a little bit more, Doug. Player standing. Spike four. down A. Looking for another Gabshees. I believe this is the second 4K of the map for him. Fra Mike manages to get on there, Whoop. manages to get the spike down and gets away with his life. So now we're gonna see this insane fight and take a look at Perry. Perry has to win this gunfight to give them the room to breathe, to control Garage that's often such a highly exploited area of the map to deny things, but Rave, they may have gotten too far off the site. There's nobody watching things right now. Rosen looking to try to get the defuse, to try to wall bang through there and deny things. And so far, it seems to be working. I don't know the Sharks are gonna be able to get in at this point. Denaru in a good spot. Denaru good for one. <laughs> Sobas. Tee him up. There's a second. But a great round. A great round from New Turn. Honestly, they had to pull that card out. Face to face, they have not been able to do much against Sharks. If you can get under their skin and make some recent success. And Prozen looking to stuff it. Blast Pack's aggressive. The flash was there. Prozen good for one. Hunter Fury is going to come out as well as Denaro joins. Oh my gosh, fight. Sharks. Denaro using one of his own as Lakio manages to get a kill. I don't know if Denaro is going to find the same success, but what he did do was clear out a good bit of space. Light's the only one without an upgraded weapon here, Fra. Going aggressive, Fra. Good for it. Lakia drops the spike, but Perry right there at the exact right time to help things out. The res is going to come through as well. Suggest is trying to stop any more aggression coming in from Sharks, but Light, Light gets dropped. Suggest was super low. That was a very big trade to take Light down. And we saw it was Sharks picking up a few of those weapons, may able to make themselves a bit stronger here on the defensive round. Now they push through to grab a few more, make sure none of those are Spectres. Oh, the plant goes down, but Perry is the lurker. Like I said, the quiet oh, info Perry. gatherer with the high success of life chance and there he goes lives once again nice shot by suggest this could leave it up to parry and here's come cop she's 1v1 god she's healing up parry just kind of has to play this patiently she's gonna rotate over god she's with the tap the gravity well is gonna come out just narrowly Missing as you see all of that utility used to buy time for Perry to show up. God, she's in the 1v1 looking to answer the call and he does just that as he's going to get the defuse and get Sharks to map point. The wide peak from Perry. He thought he may not have the angle.
Gob starting off hot. Allows already been destroyed. Oh my the what? Investment of utility to get into U-Haul suggests good for one. As new turn, they they're still trying to like brute force their way into this thing. And Rave, you got to keep an eye on the minimap. Look at Fra rotating through market. This is something we see on Bind a lot. If teams turtle too long, if they are not decisive with their moves, there's a possibility that they get blown to shreds. And that's exactly what happens to Perry as he drops. That was an absurd. We'll talk about this in a second. What a win from Sharks. That was an absurd. You turn invested the fault line to to clear out some of Hookah, but they don't swing with it. <gasps> his patience pays off as he shows up just in the nick of time to take care of one. Lights does on the other side of the map as well. The spike still has not been picked up. And the one good thing from here is that Solo is alone with the spike. There's a whole lot of noise happening on A, so he should be able to waltz into B for absolutely nothing. The best way this pans out for them is if New Turn is able to continue to cause problems left. on A. If Perry can get another kill, there's a chance at something, but oh, he's going to hightail word. it out just in the nick of time. The spike's going to go down, and it looks like Sharks are going to show up to the party just a bit late, but what can they do with it? Solo with the Sheriff playing that tight angle. Perry spotted one as well. They've gotten onto the site, but how do they deal with the defense? Is good for one, not good for a second as well. A 1v1. Leitch looking to come up top, but no! Perry gets a 4k to win the round, to tie us up early, and to destroy. You even see, like, you see how they're trying to play around and exploit different areas. You mentioned the late orb grab. That's exactly what we saw. You turn really just kind of picked this thing apart. Ooh. Nice you turn look to work their way on A, and once again, Fra is on a flank, and <gasps> he's gonna get the timing right, he's gonna get the timing right, good for one, looking for the second, line him up and knock him down, yeah, he drops, but the damage has been done, what can you turn do to salvage this situation, they fully aboard on the rotate, they're going back towards A, and the thing is, Sharks have their defenses split, it's just Leitch by himself, everything they want, the bolt, almost targeting Allow, but he's able to hide, scary spot for him, 30 HP on light, and it's a bit of damage onto Allow. Yeah, Perry's in a great spot. You've got to get Showers control. It's so difficult to get the site back if you don't have that area. And Perry's, sh Perry's showing that in full display here. Denaru somehow manages to get away and manages to survive as long as he has. The tap, not going to matter. Perry dash right behind it as Allow tries to get onto the site. Bladestorm and Toad, the flash was there too. But again, Showers proves to be the problem. Leitch gets CC'd up to high heaven as he tries to stay alive and so far is able to do yep. so for the time being. Gets tagged up. Lockie on the flank. Good night, good sir, as Lakia drops, light regains, it maintains, excuse me, control. Oh, they're flipping. Flip, they're flipping, three, surely three. they've got a bite on that. Low HP, they're going to have to stick together for a bit, even if you have uh, Donaru seeing them. Good shock darts from this position. If he bounces them, they're guaranteed to land right on the spike, so great damage, there's one! Finds it, every Sova player will know it and feel that one. And now it's going to be Donaru entering the site alone, and he makes it count! Solo, Solo has the Rolling Thunder, but we can talk more about that later. Perry, you know what he do with six health? Good for one. As Frog did he hear it? Tap, tries to get it to half. You've got to bang through that if you want to stop this thing. Perry forced to swing out. Frog plays him like a hand of cards, reads him like a book, and gets the defuse. Gets that spam through, plays him on a bit. It's a, it's a difficult, it's a blind path through the teleporter if you're going to go that way, but they are not going to go that way. They fully committed the showstopper, the rolling thunder as well. Junaru's already off the site. They have full control, but Prozen looking to deal a little bit of damage back, and he does just that as allowed drops. And that's a whole lot of not allowing Sharks to do anything and get in position. Denaru gets taken down at the back. Sova almost wants to be an elbow hiding all the time. So no yeah. darts to come in there, figure oh, out what's yeah. going on. And now New Turn gets to spread out, fortify the site, and get a good garrison going here yeah, for this post no. plan. But Riv, no, they don't have... Oh my gosh, they didn't have control, but it didn't matter. They lined up for Lockie, and he knocks them down. That's such a pivotal area of the map to hold. Ooh. And you... Attention towards B. You see the smokes come out. This time there is elbow control. Fra has to stay alive here for his teammates to arrive. Keep in mind the orbital strikes in tow as well, and there it is. Rains fire down from the skies as Perry gets cooked to, to a crisp as Allow gets one as well. Now Lakia with the Hunter's Fury has ran Gabshees. He knows he's there. Tries to land the shots, but no. Gabshees with one. Looking for a second. Gets dropped. Allow good for three. New turn at seven. And almost gets one with the Showstopper. Oh, but they pinch at the right time. It's beautiful. They push up a short as they make their way in through showers as well. They have full control of that area of the map. Keep an eye on Fra again. He's the lurk. He's going to try to be fighting for showers control, and he gets just that as he drops Lakia. Now they have an anchor. Now they have a chance at doing this thing. This is a winnable round for Sharks. 
but they're gonna have to land a couple of big kills. There's one that's good for him as Solo drops the 3v3 here as they try to slowly creep their way onto the site. Pros and spots been exposed. There is no Hunter Siri to deny things for now. That's not a good spot starts. for Pros and gets it to half. Oh, he tried sticking it. No, but he gets gone down by Suggest. Suggest to show some fancy footwork to stay alive from Lakia. And Suggest just stays quiet, like you said. He's going to get away. I mean, with everything he could possibly want. Pros and drops as Denaro does as well. That's going to open the door for them to get through for with, with real ease. But it's a TP. It's insane, oh. Riv, because they've taken two so. They take two sites. Right? They took A. They waltz their way onto A. And they do so onto B. They just they just have full authority on the map. Oh, Gabs. Gabs. All right, Gap she's No, Gap she's oh. drops it. Trying to gain more space. U-Haul control is pivotal, but even a little bit more towards that fan. Drop back and forth, dog. We're getting to get the fights in as Frost and in three. Stand tall in U-Haul. Oh my gosh, they hold fast just fine. And just Perry alone, and Perry was up in heaven the whole time, and now they know exactly where he is. That's a brutal spot to be. Frog gets to three. Has two sharks as well, and that was an excellent start. Just two isn't able to land anything. Oh my gosh, Prozen was there as well. Ooh. But Perry swings on him, gives him the business. And Showers, who's doing what? New turn loves to be able to do that. And they'll say, yeah, you're going to flash, you're going to dart. We'll run in front of that with a quick uh, yep. paranoia. We see a lot of teams do it. It's nothing new. It's just a nice, easy flash dash play. You can get to allow, able to pick that one up as they clean up another round. They haven't made their way in. There are only so many places they could be, and Allow has spotted them. He knows exactly where they are. The Viper's Wall denying info. Oh, Gabshees, baby. Gabshees reads it. Gabshees punishes Allow. But Perry on the train. Perry on the train. Phantom Gang in full display as he gets three. Oh, oh new turn map point. 12 to 5. The Sharks keep themselves in this second map and alive. We got a scent next, and that's going to be a spicy one for both teams if it is cl cleaned up here by new turn. And just excellent, excellent play around the utility. And dude, the thing is, like, Sharks knew where that pressure was coming from. You even yep. saw Gab, she's there. They expected that pressure, and that's that's homework that's been done because you look. I've got your train. What are they going to do? Here comes the Seekers. The Showstopper is going to go through as well, along with the Hunter Fury. Perry Moe's down one. Trying to stay alive, may have to ult in order to get to safety. No, not able to get away. Allow Ooh. still on the anchor. Allow looking for more. There's a second Hunter Shuri and the Showstopper coming out from Suggest as they try to fight for the site. The spike has still not made it on there. Suggest is good for one. Gonna get caught with his pants down. Oh, Denaru, oh, Denaru, no, Suggest, not like this. Denaru drops. Leich alone looking to keep the map alive. And no, turns around. Hello, completely quietly. There's the flash. Out of, yep, there it is, and the kill's gonna land as well as light drops. Allow is taking so much space away. Frost is sitting ducky, he's gonna drop as well, along with Denaru. It's a bloodbath over by Tiles, as so much pressure is exerted from Neutron. I mean, that was gorgeous! And here we go, solo. Trigger discipline, good for one. Looking for more, and if it wasn't the Spectre, it was the freaking Nano Swarm. As he gets three, gets four, a second. Back to back. Pile up a hit on to B here. They've got Lockie in the back of the site. They also have Solo sitting here. Look at how they're encroaching as well into spawn. They've oh. worked the mid, dog. Yep. What I wanted to see. Quick TP back out. Frosting coming in with the Odin on the back side of the site, and they have to take it now. It's all about getting the Sova out of Boathouse. Lucky and Solo hold it down. But enough to make him think about it. I love this coming from Sharks. All out, rolling through. Prozine goes down. Leitch is going to find himself falling as well as Solo. Finding shots left and right. He says it's some damage, but that's it so far. This is going to be... A spicy retake. The flash comes through. Suggests already takes care of one. Gap she's is going to drop as well. There's a wow. lockdown as it creates some space, and they have to respect it, right? They don't really have anything to get in there and deny that, so they give that space up. Now, new turn. Find their way onto the site. Frost in a great spot. There are two still playing back and long. They both drop. Frost left alone. Frost good for one, and Frost drops. Not able to pull out any of the heroics as new turn marches on. He's still on A, right? That's still where they... Well... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's a call. That's a call wanted. out. <laughs> that's still where they wanted to go. Uh, they're certainly going to reconsider things. Yeah, that spike's going to drop as well. Spike they know everything a. that's going on right now. Denaru's going to show up along with Leich. They don't have the spike. They don't have health. At least Denaru doesn't. Leich has a chance. Yeah. It's something special here in a 1v3. Nothing but a specter. 
Nothing. 6 0 for new turn. Interesting adaptation from Sharks. Underside. Oh, my God. Oh. He has already gotten two. He might get a third. He understood. He heard him. Yeah, the orb was there. The right, Riv, for as, as brutal of things as, as things have been for Sharks, I think a, an 8 4, you take that, right? Like, that's yeah, very much absolutely. okay. Absolutely. Seekers coming out from Suggest, you can tell they want to go there. There's the lockdown. Hunter Suri, presumably to clear things out from Lakia. Yep, there goes the lockdown. And they're going to use the Showstopper as well. Perry's in a great spot. Perry doesn't get spotted! My gosh, he's going to mow them down! He's already gotten two! They never knew he was there! And if it wasn't Perry, it was Suggest! New turn refused to give up an inch. They don't allow anything in through that door. Another flawless round, courtesy of our friends over at Prime Gaming. And Hold out. And they'd have to go versus the intel over at B or the backup retake kind of aggressiveness over at A. And like we said, you'll always get Suggest alive. He's in the back, ready to throw out Guiding Lights or the Trailblazer. Nice set of strat here. That's yeah. the dart going over as well, so they can spot, allow. I love the combo. This is what we need to see from Sharks. Yeah, it was an excellent setup with the Paranoia and the dart as well, and the Hunter's Fury on top from Dinaru. Perry's going to get mowed down as Fraff blast, blast across the screen, gets dropped. But the Shock Darts, the Shock Darts delaying things. The spike now, it's going to go down. What can Lakia do? Can they keep this perfect game alive? A 2v4, no, she drops. It's just solo. In a 1v4 with a Phantom. That's a difficult spot. Now the position's been given away as well. And at Riv, there were doubts, right? Like, there were doubts on whether or not it would happen. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like Sharks are going to get on the board. They need, they need to. And, and I question what... I, I got to go back and look at it. Obviously, we just saw a new turn, Hunter's Fury alt back and, and really take down a nice strat that Sharks put together. But what was stopping Sharks from doing this before? It's such an aggressive strat. It's nicely played. Everybody, and it, it, I think it has a great return because everybody is relatively safe throughout it. Because you're either going... You're right, you're right. All right, what do Sharks have here? What else can they dial up? You hear the run it back has been used from Prozin. He's going to flash. He's going to get some space. But you've got to keep an eye on Solo. Is that Solo? Yeah, Solo's in a great spot again, right? Like, he's still undetected. A great crossfire. Like, he's the one. Solo gets two. The spike goes down as well. As New Turn looks to continue to put Sharks down. But it drops into a 2v2. Make that a 2v1. Allow. Has a Phantom. Light looking to get the spike down. Allow quietly working his way around as the spike gets spike planted. planted. Oh, he's not going to check it. He's not going to check the 50. A couple bullets Ooh. to the back of the head. Pop, pop. And they're chasing him down. Oh, my word. Look at Solo. He gets taken out by Light right away as the Seekers try to pinch in where Sharks is. Neutron want to make this round count, but Sharks are saying no way. We've already thought of that. One goes down now from Allow, and it's going to be off the op. Perry good for one as well. Lockie already good for two. My Ooh. goodness. To stay mobile, and we see now Denaru has leaned towards A. Fight with a great paranoia, but the flash is there to counter things out. Allow dancing around the gen. No, not able to land the shots. As Gav she's just the one who cleans him up. Looking for a second, gets a third as well. Spike down. Ooh. He's been a thorn in their flesh. A fourth kill. As Perry. Perry playing this pretty well. Good for one. Not able to get the second. Gav she's gets the eight. And. And that doesn't really land any shots, gets pushed back. As New Turn turned their attention to A. And man, they're going, Riv. Firing in. That dart didn't really see too much. Not damage onto light either, but they know where he is. In the middle of the site, he's going to take that fight. And it's a one for one trade. Yeah, she's trying to hold things down from up top. Has the showstopper here. In a 4v3, they still have the numbers advantage, and the more utility you draw out, things like that, right? Like, that's a win if you're new turn, because you know B is entirely open. Lakia has gotten onto the back back of spawn, so this ultimate from from Gabshi, from Gabshi, oh. excuse me, does nothing, right? That That's that's gone. There's no value there. Lakia understands where the pressure's coming in from. They should be able to get the spike down. The thing is, Lakia only has a sheriff. That makes things very difficult. Bot, but not enough time to put it down. He wants to try to catch a 1v1 situation before they peek. That's one. He looks for the second. The Naru with the 3k. Such a good hot hand set delays. 
really any entry. You saw that they had no way. Allow Lakia couldn't get through that. And then the curveball through the smoke lands another one as well as Prozen. Then repositions himself onto the site. 12 seconds left. They have to get onto the site. They have to fight their way through this. And so far, so wow. good. Lakia and Perry get a couple of piece. Perry should be able to get the spike down. And now the remaining members of Sharks have arrived. A great dart to expose where Perry is. Gravity well. He's just a sitting duck. Gab is as well. New turn. Take the round back. Oh no, Hunter's Fury, that'll activate things knowing maybe where the other Sova would be with that drone coming out. And it's gonna be a slight play towards A. No, it's a Ooh, fake. God, geez. It's a fake, it's all a fake, right? They invested the Hunter's Fury, yep. they invested the, the Seekers, but Solo, oh, no. the, 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 the entire side, but Prozen was in a great spot, holding down the middle of the map, spots the Lurk, and gets the spike. Prozen is sitting on gold right now. The problem is he is the most wanted man in the server right now. They know where he is, and he's getting pushed in from all directions. He does eventually drop. They should be able to pick up the spike, and it's going to be a foot. to work together here instead of the 1v1 smart play as they'll able to find one person in the site, and this is going to be big. If Lockheed Lock comes back in time, there it is. Lakia was key there, and you could see it. The writing was on the wall. If he stays alive, if they don't clear out showers, they're going to get blown to shreds. And you said it, Riv, like you spoke that thing into existence. As soon as the timing passed by, as soon as they knew where suggest wants to be aggressive with the alt. He doesn't find one there. Great job coming out of Fra. And, and really great, great job coming out of new turn. You see all there was. There was no way that he walks out in the middle of the site without uh, almost everyone on the team seeing him. Yeah. Right, Gab Cheese has already dropped. Excellent counter to the running back, but Prozine's still in a good spot. Well, he was. He was until Solo happened. That's another one that drops as new turn continue to creep closer and closer to finishing off Sharks, to finishing off this series. They're going to get on to B with relative ease. Fry's the last remaining member on the site. He's got to go big here. Well, wow hits, Frog goes down. Leitch doing what he can. You should run. And Leitch he should run. But he wants to run at. Should. He will deny that call. Ooh, there it is. Suggest. 